Sorry guys, I know some of you really want to see my feet, but today you're only going to see my teeth. That's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda, you're watching Soul Entertainment, and I had no other ideas for the intro, so that is what we're going with. <laughs> but today's product for my I Tried It So You Don't Have To series, we are trying Purely White Deluxe Teeth Whitening Kit. Now, there are a lot a lot of teeth whitening kits advertised by influencers. This one though, I have seen quite a bit on Instagram here and there, but where Purely White really grabbed my attention and made me think I need to review their product is because they screwed a creator out of payment. I saw a TikTok from Faith Ordway come across my uh, For You page, but she had shown text messages between her and someone from Purely White about a sponsorship that she did for them. And she said, usually I get payment up front, but this time we didn't do that and I've worked with them before, so I trusted that that would work out. And then they said they weren't going to pay her because it didn't perform the way that it was supposed to perform. Like they didn't see a good enough ROI for them to justify paying her. I have no idea if she had an agreement, like an actual like typed up agreement, like I talk about in other videos. Um, as far as I can see, she didn't mention it in the video itself, but typically that has a set amount and then also when you're going to be paid on it. So I believe another lawyer on TikTok spoke about this and said it's a legitimate company, but pursuing it legally and trying to go after the money and payment that way would kind of just be a waste of time for her because her payment for the actual brand deal would probably be much lower than what she would end up having to spend in legal fees. So the lawyer suggested that she just kind of let it go and move forward and just not work with the brand again. You know, I have done brand deals that have not had a good return on investment for the brand that I was working with. The bulk of my audience is here on YouTube, not on TikTok, so I really can't speak to the details of a TikTok brand deal, unless the agreement for the sponsorship, because you should always have a formal agreement for your sponsorship, unless it specifically says that you need to have X amount of views, or they need to get X amount of responses, then it's kind of just how it works out. It's just kind of where the chips fall, okay? It's return on investment. You are making an investment, into a creator, into their audience, and you're hoping you will get a return. And sometimes that return isn't great. And that's just kind of how it goes. Okay, that's the gamble you take with working with creators. And there's nothing wrong with, oh, we didn't have a good return on investment, so we're not gonna work with them again. That happened to me, that is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But you do in fact have to pay creators if you have an agreement with a creator. She should have been paid. But I wanted to talk about that, about creators not getting paid for agreements or not having a formal agreement, which is why I chose this product. Otherwise I would have chosen some other one, but they all seem to be the exact fucking same. So. Purely white, let's talk. So I did a couple of videos throughout the process. Um, I did one the first night so you could see where my teeth were at. I will insert that footage here. Hi, um, so this is a test sort of to show my teeth. Here is the card we're supposed to use, 3D teeth whitening shade guide. Okay. Oh, thank God, I'm none of these top ones. Okay, let's see. Am I there? Am I seven? Where would you put me? Tell me. And a lot of you like to comment and sometimes hate comment that I have really big teeth. I really don't. I think my teeth are fairly normal sized. I just have tiny white girl lips, which make my teeth look huge. I haven't made this joke in a while, but I'm basically this emoji, thin lips, just a lot of teeth. But I've always taken fairly good care of my teeth. I've never really been someone that's gotten cavities. Um, I think currently I only have one cavity and it's the only cavity that I've ever knowingly had to my knowledge. Um, and it's on like one of my back molars and I need to go get it looked at mainly because I'm not sure if it's on my back molar or if it's a wisdom tooth that's like come out. Um, yes, I still have not gotten my wisdom teeth out. And for the record, because every time I bring up my wisdom teeth, I get comments. Um, you will only ever see footage of me post wisdom teeth removal if one of you pay for the surgery. Yes, public embarrassment is equal to the cost of free surgery. Anyway, I have never actually had my teeth professionally whitened. I have had my teeth cleaned. I did have braces for a year when I was in junior and senior year. Um, Probably could have had them on for longer, but I was like fighting to get them taken off before my senior photos. <laughs> Here's a photo of what my teeth look like pre-braces. I was also very on top of keeping my teeth clean when I had braces. My orthodontist told me that getting the, I wanna say the ceramic braces were better for photos and harder to see. 
So my mom was very keen on me getting those. If you don't take care of them, the discoloration is very apparent. So I was on top of that shit. I have used at-home tooth whitening kits in the past. Uh, typically, I want to say the one I've used is Crest and it's the strips that you just kind of put on and I haven't used that in probably mm, year and a half minimum. Um, oh God, probably closer to two years now. Sorry, the pandemic in my brain is like a month, even though it's been like nine, but I've never done any teeth whitening kits like this. This is what you get. Um, the back says, what's inside a whitening agent? We use a safe but effective level of agents to gently restore whiteness. LED light to activate the whitening agent in your kit, battery included. Whitening tray comfortable, medical grade silicone tray included in your kit, instruction guide. Gently clean teeth by brushing with toothpaste. Take the battery out of the LED, get the LED going. Simply attach the mouth to the tray. Apply 0.5 milliliter syringe of whitening gel to the top and also to the bottom of mouth tray. I did this for a total of eight to nine days. I, I'm gonna say nine because there was one day and I'll put that footage here where I had to stop because my gums started burning. Um, I don't think it was the whitening agent because I never had any other irritation from them. I do think maybe I brushed my teeth like too harshly or something. And so like my gums were just really kind of like raw and that's caused the issue because then the following night when I did the whitening agent, I had no issues. I don't know what I did, but like, you see that white stuff? That's not food. That's like some type of reaction. You're supposed to brush your teeth before you do it, which I did, but I don't know if I was just too rough right there or something, or if I cut my gum, but like, ow, like it immediately started burning. Yeah, see that? The white stuff? That's not like me not brushing my teeth. That's like a mark on my gums. And sure as shit wasn't the light because the light doesn't do shit. Limit the intake of dark colored food and beverages such as red wine, coffee, and tea before and after application. Listen, I didn't stop drinking coffee. Frankly, I didn't stop drinking soda either, but I did only do it at like reasonable times. And then I would do this every time I did the whitening agent, I did it in the evening time. Listen, I love you guys so much. I love you guys in a weird parasocial relationship kind of way, but I love you. I have given up drinking coffee for you guys in the past and done like mushroom coffee and shit to review products. Um, but I refuse to give up coffee for nine-ish days just to review a teeth whitening product. Because let's face it, none of us actually stop doing the things we're not supposed to do when we're using kits like this. I am putting it through a logical test. Here's the inside of your kit. You have your light thingy, your tray, your three syringes of the whitening solution. There's only about mm, less than half of one left. I did get like nine days slash eight days out of this because I did dump one of them. Um, there are also these things, which I still don't know what the hell these are. I think they're extenders for the like injector, but I just didn't even use these. So right off the bat, I'm not gonna put this in my mouth. I don't trust you with that footage. Um, I will insert the footage instead of me using it at a different time. Mm-hmm. But basically you just hook the tray onto the front uh, bit of the light and then you just put it in your mouth like that and then you just turn it on. But you put the gel inside the center front flaps of this so that when you put it in, it just pushes it right up against your mouth. Um, and that's that. This yells at you when it's done, but it also yells at you when you turn it off before the 10 minutes are up. Something I already don't like about this is that I think my mouth is a pretty standard width, okay? Uh, but the thing is, is that not all teeth are aligned the same way, whether you've had braces or not, like everyone's mouth shape is different. Uh, men, women, young, old, etc. Do not give your child this shit for the love of God, but okay. I don't think the edges here touched my front two canine teeth. And that's the thing that a lot of dentists who have criticized things like this say. When you do an actual whitening treatment at a dentist's office, typically you're there for either one go or they do something over the course of a couple of weeks or like two weeks where they send you home with like trays and stuff and you have to do it. But those trays are typically fitted to your mouth. As far as a universal tray, bullshit. That's just not gonna work here. I looked up how effective these can be and the one that I found was from Metro. We talked about these lights. 
Now, uh, UV light is used in whitening. This is an LED light. The thing says LED. UV light used in whitening is regulated among dentists. It's not gonna be sent in an at-home kit. Um, let me read the actual quote. There are also questions raised about the effectiveness of LED lights in home whitening kits. The LED light will be as effective as Buzz Lightyear's laser was. Just a toy with nothing in the product that this tiny amount of light will have any effect on. Maybe fun, but little else. And then again, these are not fitted. Um, this has been in my mouth. <laughs> so I know that if I was smart, maybe I could leverage, um, my audience to some degree, like the uh, pretty women on um, TikTok, and sell this to someone. But I can't do it. <laughs> because let's face it, best case scenario is this will only go in your mouth. Worst case scenario is that you somehow find a way to extract my DNA from this, and then like clone me one day. And honestly, 2020 has taken enough inspiration away from the writers of Black Mirror. I don't wanna to contribute to that, you know? But let me talk just a little bit about the Purely White website. I believe I paid $49.99. Um, typically it is $69.99. It says results guaranteed, which I didn't know you can say that. Can you actually say that? I mean, I guess they're not specifying what the results are. Ships worldwide, designed in New York. See, I hate when companies say that because that tells me nothing. Like, does, how was it designed in New York? The packaging? The marketing? Do you base your operations and ship postage out of your New York studio apartment? Like, what exactly does design in New York mean? Because that doesn't tell me where the products are made. I'm gonna show some of the photos that they have as far as like, join the white smile movement to show uh, the verified purchases showing the results. Now the thing is, is some of these teeth do look different, but also most of the photos, you can just tell it's just a brighter light, maybe. Like maybe the whitening agent did in fact whiten their teeth a little bit, um, but it didn't do much. Oh, I should clarify. Teeth whitening products generally whiten teeth using one of two active ingredients, hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide, which penetrate the porous enamel to lighten the color of the dentin by breaking down the stains. This explains why toothpaste alone can't get rid of those stubborn coffee stains. Hydrogen peroxide is considered the more aggressive of whitening agents, while carbamide peroxide is the more chill option slowly breaking down into hydrogen peroxide and urea, making it a better choice for those with sensitive teeth. According to this, this uses carbamide peroxide. So this does have a peroxide agent in it, but it also doesn't tell me uh, how much. It's listed first, which usually means that that's the most prevalent ingredient in something, but I have no way of actually knowing that on here. Now I'm choosing not to show the influencer photos they have, mainly because I've never heard of most of these people. Uh, they had someone who was a Addison Rae lookalike when she was blonde and it freaked me out when I first saw it because I was like, holy shit, they got Addison Rae. It's not actually her. I personally don't like the phrase social media is fake or social media is a scam. Um, I think it's very easy to scam via Instagram. It's very easy to scam via social media. It's very easy to fake shit via social media and curate a certain life and only put out the good parts of your life. But to see that that's all fake or that every single person who uses social media is fake or every single person that has a platform on any social media is fake, I think is dismissive and dumb. And, uh, I don't know, I think that kind of takes away how sinister it is when someone is actually doing something shitty via social media. Like, it's all fake, why did you believe it anyway? Why did you fall for it anyway? Like, I think that's shitty. I think that dismissing all social media as fake is counterproductive to any actual issues that could arise via social media. However, it is very easy to fake shit on social media. Like a pearly white smile. Some of the photos that they have on here, a whole person's face, is either overexposed, underexposed, um, very smooth, maybe a little blurry, but then their teeth are full on display. Sure, you can just say they highlighted their teeth, but what they probably did was this, one second. Oh shit, hang on. Obviously I have to do this correctly. Wow, my hair looks frizzy. Okay, uh, and then we're gonna go over to Facetune. Okay, there's my photo. Let's go to retouch, whiten, zoom in on my face and boom. Just kind of start touching the area. Uh, that makes it look just enough like, fuck I need lip fillers to fix that giant uh, gummy smile that I have, but we can also make it a little more crazy looking. Uh, but probably midway was probably 
the right bet and we're just gonna do that. I'm choosing not to edit anything else for time's sake. We're gonna save that photo and done. It really does not take that much to face tune your teeth a little wider. Many people can do that for whatever reason. Maybe they don't actually have like an unwhite smile, but they just had coffee or soda or something, or they just had lunch and they wanna just clean up their teeth after the photo, who cares? Um, but also as far as selling a whitening product, at the very least, they're face tuning their photos, but also what's probably happening is a lot of these people actually have the money to go get professional whitening treatments done in a way that wouldn't harm their teeth. So they probably have had some type of whitening done on their teeth, which is contributing to how white their teeth are. And it may not actually be from this. Uh, here are my results. It there? Where is it? It's not yellow. It's definitely not that. I'm just touching my mouth with this. I don't even care. Hello. <laughs> I honestly can't tell much of a difference. You can try these if you'd like. I don't think it's worth it. I think if you really want to put the money into teeth whitening, go to a professional. It's not going to be cheap, but it'll be safer on your teeth long term. Something that I found has worked really well for me uh, is brushing my teeth two times a day for a minimum of three minutes. I think that works well enough. And I drink so much fucking coffee, um, but yeah. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I have no idea how long this is gonna be. In my brain, this is gonna be short because I've only been filming for like 40 minutes and usually I film for like two hours. Uh, so in my brain, this is gonna be a really short video, but I have no idea. Um, but have you ever used an at-home whitening kit? What influence have you seen promoting whitening kits? Um, have you done any other over-the-counter whitening kits from like Target or Walgreens or your random drugstore? What's a whitening product that you like that doesn't suck? Let me know, comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd also like to support my Patreon, let me link it down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, it'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. But seriously, this isn't the first time I've heard of a brand just like straight up not paying a creator because they didn't like the outcome. And it's one thing if a company has never worked with a creator before and they're not sure like what the risk actually is when working with a creator. Considering what Faith said, said she had worked with them in the past and they had paid her no problem. The fact that they then decided that they weren't seeing enough of a return on investment, that it wasn't worth their time, that's dumb. They should have at least paid her for that ad and then just decided they didn't want to work with her again in the future. That's it. Thank you, Elaine, Alan, Elise, Braden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Aaron, Essen, Evan, Feckless, Finnegan, Hopeless, Jason, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lisa, Manga, Matt, Matthew, S, Meme, Lord, Red, Michael, Michael, Jane, Nathaniel, Pat, Prowlock, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stephen, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wayne, Wendy, Williams, and